left one last part out on the animation. So let's say we want to add it in here into the uh, presentation since it's saved as a movie. Um, what, we, what we can do is grab it and one click, we'll put it here. It's not playing like I want it to, but uh, there we go. This is. Uh, you know, this is you can make a lot more useful, uh, fancy uh, animations. But just to add on to the end of that last video of uh, how you use the animations to use the PowerPoint. Uh, this is going to show you how to make an animation in Google SketchUp. Uh, I took an A10 again, um, and what we're going to do here is create a video animation. So you go up here to View and you click Add Scene. Uh, you just click Save as a new style. on this to the front facing. We'll add another scene. Okay. Now we'll zoom in. And scene. And come back here. Zoom out a little bit. Obviously, do a lot more advanced stuff with this, but uh, for now, uh, we go here to export, click on animation. We're going to put it in the uh, same file. So it will be an EVA, EVI file. I'll we'll call this A10 3D animation. And it's exporting right now. SketchUp, you can now create 3D animations and use other software to create voiceovers if uh, you want to talk about it. So that's a basic animation of how you would use Google SketchUp to do a 3D animation. Now this is more of an advanced topic. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to use Google SketchUp. It's a uh, free 3D CAD modeling uh, design program from Google you can download. And I've already downloaded it, so we'll just go straight to it. Um, if you have questions, you can send them in. I'll show you how to download it. Uh, so you go to SketchUp, which is right here. You click on it. Might take a second to load. And you click Start Using SketchUp. Okay, now you have a, a blank screen. Um, we'll do that later. You have a blank screen right now of a 3D, three dimensional modeling tool where you can insert objects. So, typically, what I do if I want to steal a background for a presentation, not steal, but uh, borrow a background, you can go to the 3D warehouse that Google has. Now let's type in uh, city. Here we have lots of different cities. We'll take uh, we'll take one that we can use. Um, let's go with this one. So you click here and download model. It'll load it directly onto your uh, on your SketchUp screen. Now here you have to place it. So just move it around to where you want. Click up 
here, hit the pointer, and that should do it. Now you can use these different tools. This is the zoom tool. And as you can see, our perspective right now is a little, a little strange, but you can flip that by using the perspective here. Uh, another thing you might want to do, well, since we still have uh, all this selected, click here in the white space. Now those are gone. And also, if you want to get rid of the grid lines and the axes, you can uh, take out these guides and the axes. So now let's say we wanted to use this. Uh, oh, also a very, very cool tool to be able to use is. Uh, walk and look around. So you hold down the left mouse button and you can walk as if you're flying in the sky or the city. Get the right perspective you want. Let's walk backwards to the right. Okay. And the other one is look around. Now we can hand right, look down, look up. So let's say we wanted to snag this screen image here. What we're going to do is hit print screen on your keyboard. It'll capture the image and you will paste it on PowerPoint. Now you have an image here. Now we're going to use the skills we learned previously of how to crop a, crop a picture. So let's go ahead and crop it. And this is just one example. There's plenty of uh, different backgrounds that are useful for uh, for concepts. Um, and obviously, you can see the picture is too big, so we'll shrink it down to fit the size that we want. And you can do such things as, uh, let's say, uh, we want to grab one of these transparent images that we made earlier, like uh, grab this F16. Control C to copy. And let's just throw it in. Ah, it's not transparent yet. So we got a recolor. Transparent. And obviously the perspective's not right on this. So but you could find a uh, find an image where you can get the perspective right and create an angle of attack. Or whatever you want to show. So uh, that's a way to use Google SketchUp to uh, get backgrounds for uh, presentations.